did. Making assumptions, Anthony. We won't know what killed this poor man's dreams until autopsy. Or... Oh, there's a letter there for Jeanette. I want to... I think it's... Um... Telling her to uh, self-isolate because she's a severe asthma uh, patient or a severe asthma sufferer, shall I say. Yeah, I, uh, what are you doing uh, the, with that letter and that? Keep it. Right. See you in 12 weeks. Uh, yeah, keep it. Don't destroy it. Keep hold of it. I'm on my way home now. You're on your way home. Good, yeah. Yes, don't do anything with the letter. No. And we'll go from there. Really? See you in a bit. All right, Flower. Bye. All right, Bye. love. All right. Okay. Bye. Jeanette's just been given a letter. Uh, uh, it says basically uh, this coronavirus. She got to take twelve weeks off, stay at home, don't go out, don't see family or friends. She's got to be isolated in the house because she's a vulnerable uh, person. So we see where it goes from there. It's the 25th of March and she's got to be in the house until about the 25th of June, which is going to be after her birthday. Um, she's got to be self-isolated and we've got to sort something out like shopping, uh, bills, all these kind of things. I mean, it's a frightening prospect, but if she catches this coronavirus, the uh, COVID-19, it could be fatal for her because she's got a, a severe asthmatic condition. I'm at a loss. It's like living in some sci-fi bloody film. It's like a science fiction film. It really is. It's ridiculous. Oh, dear. Hello. What? Oh, dear. I've been I've just been recording the bit. Just uh just for the diary. Only a little minute, just for you coming in. Because it's probably the last time you come on with your overalls for about 12 weeks, wasn't it? Yep. So how do you feel? I don't know, at the minute. But that picture you sent me would not download. Yeah, well it's none of their business anyway. No, they have to have it. They have to have a copy of the letter. Well, they can have a copy of the letter. They've got it now. But, er... Uh, it says private and confidential on it, so they, they're not meant to have one. You're meant to just say to them. And they're meant to have a care of duty of care. That's my flu fighter badge. Hmm. See if we're like, move. Oh, he, he, wants a, he wants a cuddle. It's been fed, don't, don't believe that it's not being fed. Right. You want a bacon Should sandwich? I've eaten a sandwich. Do you want a toast of bacon butty? No, no. No, I'm fine. Just have that sandwich. I think he's upset actually as well. Why? I don't know. He just seems. You know how he comes downstairs sometimes, he would have slayed at the top of the steps. Mm. 
and he won't come downstairs. So I had to bank plate for him to come down. Yeah, it's long enough, isn't it? That's what I'm saying when you say, can you read it out to me? It's just... Yeah. I think I got the important bit, the front page. But it cost me a fiver to send all them photographs. Mm. I mean, I don't know if it's in the rules, but if you got a car and meet nobody, and then drop us off at the supermarket, out of the shopping, bring the shopping back to you and... I'm not 100% sure, but as long as I... It says there, face-to-face -face contact. Yeah, that's right. So you need to be careful. Well, I've been living with you now for the last month, so, I mean, anything you've got, I've probably got it as much. All right, I need to put that. Because there will be a mercy run over to uh, get my medicine from uh, Halifax at some point in the 12 weeks. And you've got to try and sort out this MOT as well. I can meet garage, meet garage down there and go from there. But I can't do nothing about that just yet. I can't, I can't do anything about it anyway until end of next month at the earliest and then uh, I'll just have to ring him it's, or whatever and find out what's what. I know they, they've picked their car up one next door and stuff so I don't know how it'll work. So find out what's going to go off with that. Twelve weeks, where does that take me to? Uh, about the 15th of, uh, no, about the 20th, 20th of June. Mm -hmm. If it's 25th today, yeah, it's about 20th of June. 22nd of June, I think. So it's mm -hmm. past your birthday. Mm -hmm. So it'd be well into your holidays. Mm -hmm. Oh well. I'll make you a cup of tea if you want. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. I'm making a bacon sandwich. Do you want one? No, I don't want one. I've had a cheese sandwich just not long ago. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, you, you were talking about the eggs and I realised that if we didn't get any eggs, you wouldn't have any eggs for breakfast and stuff. So. No, that's, what, that's why I said be careful with yeah. eggs. Go careful. Yeah. Why? What have we got left now? We've got a box. A box yeah. of yeah. But like I say, I mean... Are you are you now a member of Airedale? Can you go as an Airedale staff to this Tesco thing on the? I can't Sunday? go myself. Though that's the thing. I cannot go in. You can't go in for me. No. Because of my ID. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, at least we've got some food in for this week. And a little bit for next, but we need we don't, we will need shopping by Tuesday of next week. We'll just have to go out and see how we go on. It's a norm now. Mm -hmm.